What's happening, guys? What's happening? We back. Well, in that other video, you saw we bent this bar. Come to find out, this is really thin metal. <laughs> it's hard to really, like this camera does not show how bent it is. Well, it's not really bent that bad, but this is 11 gauge. And, uh, and I thought it was quarter. And uh, it didn't hold up very well. <laughs> but uh, we're debating on whether or not to cut it out and replace it. Because we are thinking about putting a winch on here or adding another piece, bending this back, adding another piece for re reinforcement. That way we can put another winch on here. Uh, without having to chain it up every time. So uh, I think that's what we're gonna do. My buddy here, we're at his shop again. My buddy here gave me that suggestion. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I think that'll be the best course of action is just to uh, bend this back and put another piece of, uh, another thicker piece right behind it. Now, would it be lighter doing it that way or would it be heavier doing uh, it? It's not going to be very heavy. I mean, uh, the piece that we're going to put on there is going to be like 10 pounds. Okay. So, um, well, maybe 15. So, it ain't going to be much, but we are going to have to take that off of there. And uh, so, I'm going to cut this off and bend it back. The weld held. Yeah, yeah, the weld held. I drag a clamp and pull that trunk back. The weld it back. Yeah, because I was thinking I'd about putting ahead, a... I'd go ahead and cut this off and put a plate on top of it and then put it on. Right here where the hitch is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can take my chain and wrap it right there and just bend oh, it yeah. back straight. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll do that.
a little too much, but I yeah. think we should clamp it the rest of the way. Closing his eyes when he's tacking. This is our last chance to leave it all behind. Raise your voice, raise your power, your power. Yeah. This is our last chance. extra bracing just something to give it a little bit of extra protection and then we're going to put the big piece right there in the middle Excellent. and once we put this other piece on here we should be able to let this chain go and then we'll be done Gap. 
Yes, ma'am. I'm just filling in the gap. I'm not too concerned about what that looks like. Uh, so that way I can just weld straight across. And we're done. Hey. Woot, woot. But that's a that's a fixed bar. <laughs> now, what are your plans? Why did you do what you did? So, if we ever put another hitch back on here again, it won't pull like it did before. And uh, we moved a lot of cars in the summer, but other than that, we haven't moved any, but you never know. You never can tell. So, that way we put that right there. Uh, but we can also extend this right here because the winch is about as wide as this. So, if we had to, we can extend this, weld studs out here, and bolt the winch right to this. So we're not gonna put this back on here right now. So that's just something to do in the future. But now I don't have a bent up bar, and that makes me happy. And it's reinforced and it's ready to go. All right, guys. Ah, that's gonna be the end of it. So, y'all got any comments, questions, whatever? Uh, what, what did I say? Uh, that's all, folks. <laughs> also, subscribe to my channel. I need more subscribers. Now, y'all people, y'all, y'all people need to subscribe. You, you people who have subscribed, I appreciate you. All right, man, we out. Y'all be good.